Hello, everyone. It is it's my pleasure to bring us to the uh, keynote portion of today. Um, so without further ado, let me introduce uh, Winston Phillips. A research study published in the journal Psychology of Music focused on software developers to see if listening to music while on the job had any beneficial effect for them. Now the study found that not only did the software developers enjoy their work more while they listened to music, but the quality of their work had improved as well. In my research for my book, I found other studies showing that music briefly increases our intelligence, our cognitive ability, our spatial ability, and even our IQ. Now it's a temporary phenomenon, but it is well documented. The effect depends on two factors. The music has to be energetic, and it needs to be in a major mode. In other words, it's got to be happy. Now, this phenomenon used to be called the Mozart effect, but subsequent research has revealed that the effect really depends more on our personal enjoyment of the music and not who the composer is. So, music improves our work. Now, let's consider this. Can music make us more intrinsically interested in what we're doing? We know that music can make us happier. Taking that idea further, happiness can change our outlook on the tasks that we're performing, according to a study published in the journal Motivation and Emotion. The three authors of this study concentrated on the emotional state of physicians. In their study involving a group of physicians performing diagnostic tasks, the researchers induced a happy mood with a bag of candy for half of the physicians participating in the study. The result was that the happier doctors reported that their diagnostic tasks were more fulfilling and motivating for their own sake. In another study, researchers at Brunel University connected this effect to music by studying athletes who use music during exercise. Reporting that the music had helped the athletes to achieve Csikszentmihalyi's high state of flow, which the Brunel University researchers described as the zenith of intrinsic motivation. Okay, now, we need to consider a problem. Many of these musical effects on the brain are dependent on happy music in order to work, and yet a lot of games require a grim, dour musical score. Still, we can remember that unhappy music may not always serve the best interests of the player, and we can look for opportunities to inject a trace of optimism in the musical score that we compose for our game. As an example, for a puzzle sequence from God of War from Sony Computer Entertainment, I composed music with large, open chords in a major mode. Happy chords. Even though the gameplay took place in a death trap designed by a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at that. 